UC Berkeley is the number one public school to learn from one of the best. It's a sketchy area. People just swipe laptops at open cafes in broad daylight. Oh, there's a protest every single day on campus. Hello, so I actually made another video on my experiences and thoughts and opinions as a UC Berkeley student on UC Berkeley. You should definitely check out that video if you haven't, but I guess I had a lot to say and my video turned out to be like over 20 minutes so I decided to break it up into two parts with this being the second part so just as an introduction my name is Kevin I'm currently a junior slash senior here at UC Berkeley and I just wanted to share my experiences and thoughts while a student here and yeah if you're a high school student or if you're a high school senior applying to universities if you're an incoming freshman congratulations or if you're just interested in hearing a viewpoint of a current student this video is for you and yeah i guess the first video kind of touched on the social aspect but this video will touch on the other random things i've noticed and wanted to talk about so enjoy the video uc berkeley is the number one public school in the u.s and it's always ranked high in the university's ranking in the US as well as globally so it definitely has that good academic in terms of having specialized professor who may be well known or awarded for what they do so personally I've had a few professors that are kind of big in what they do so I had for example Emmanuel Saez who's the public economics teacher who, who is well known who is awarded and i've also had charles wong who's actually the co-founder of guitar hero for my entrepreneurship class so i thought that was really really cool learning from an entrepreneur himself so professors like these really really want to support you and for you to know not only what's being taught in class but know how to apply it and they're always there for your best intention. So as you can see, with some classes that has these specialized professors, you can really like learn from one of the best. So I think that's a good quality of UC Berkeley. In terms of learning from someone who knows what they're doing and who has experience and is acknowledged for what they do, as well as building connections with them or maybe people from the class, which actually brings me to networking with UC Berkeley students because UC Berkeley students, a lot of them do go on to do big things. So I think that coming here is a great opportunity to network. And I said, you are very close to San Francisco. There is the Haas School of Business. There is just other departments where you can kind of network around and just build that connection for future use hopefully or not and I think that's one advantage of coming to UC Berkeley is that kind of prestige in the name as well as the connection and network you can make and the potential academic quality that you can't really find in other schools. So moving on to location which is another big thing at Berkeley. So UC Berkeley is in the Bay Area so it's good in terms of being close to like San Francisco, like the hub for kind of opportunities. It's San Francisco is just like a part right away, like a few, like maybe an hour max. And it's also close to Napa and Lake Tahoe, which is like a few hours drive away. But with the good in terms of, oh, opportunities, in terms of job maybe, it's a sketchy area. Berkeley is a very, very much uh, sketchy in terms of city area so there's a big issue of homelessness so there's a lot of homeless people as well as people who maybe aren't like mentally stable so I don't want to generalize or kind of stereotype anything but statistically and from basically what I observed that the area is overall kind of you just gotta be careful. I don't wanna say it's unsafe because there are a lot of people and students, but it's not the most safe, if that makes sense. Like we actually get these warn me notifications from like the police departments where anytime anything happens in terms of maybe like an attack or a robbery or anything, we, the students get notifications. So we actually get that every single day and we get multiple of that. So maybe that kind of gives an idea of how things work around here. And another thing that's emphasized is that you should never, kind of, you shouldn't 
walk alone, especially at night. So you should always walk in a group of people. And there's also like a lot of stories that I've ever heard where people just swipe laptops at open cafes in broad daylight while there are people using it there too. So I think that in terms of location, safety is definitely a big thing to consider if that's important to you. I mean, maybe it's just me who came from like a more kind of, I guess, peaceful area. So it's definitely a bit of a shock and adjustment, but I think that it is like what is said about Berkeley in terms of safety or lack of feeling at ease or comfortable, maybe just walking alone or something is kind of true. So, I mean, I mean, in general, you just gotta watch out and just be aware and not just like, you know, walk around and just not notice your surroundings. You just gotta be careful and be aware. So that's definitely a big thing. But just the Berkeley, which is also close to Oakland, that has like the higher crime rate and now San Francisco that's oh uh, that you see more news about it so I think that's something to kind of be cautious about in terms of safety if that's a big priority for you but I mean if you're with a group if you're careful if you're aware you should be fine but yeah but I actually do appreciate that the school kind of made an effort in to like alleviate safetyness in terms of like having resources such as like safety night shuttle buses and like bear walks pretty good idea so basically kind of being able to call someone to kind of walk you home maybe because you're alone or anything but safety night shuttle is also kind of cool but it's kind of a little weird because like you kind of have to wait for the bus which comes every like 20 30 minutes i think in a in a potentially sketchy area maybe even outside of school anyway so it's like yeah it's better than walking home alone but you're still in a you're still maybe still alone at a bus stop waiting for the bus anyways but i think it's nice that there are resources to increase safety at night in this area so protests so i think uc berkeley is pretty known for protests in terms of oh there's a protest every single day on campus which really kind of scares off people but honestly i don't know if it's because of the pandemic or anything but there aren't as much protest as people make it out to be or as people as much as people say there is but like from what i've noticed there there are protests there's probably like one or two on average per month on average and they're usually peaceful they're just at most like maybe like some group of people protesting in front of say their gate which is like the front of the school sometimes blocking it which is like a big thing too but other than that maybe they protest in front of Sprout Hall which is again in front of the main entrance of the school but those are probably like an hour or two and they're not even that much so I think that it's kind of false it's like yes there are protests because it is a liberal school but it's not like we have protests every single day or anything so i think that's that was like a misconception oh and another kind of smaller thing that i want to talk about is the weather actually so it is uc berkeley is in the bay area so it's always cool usually cloudy some people would say it's gloomy and dark and not that but i personally love that kind of weather that cool weather where you can just wear jackets and kind of like layer up but i've noticed that it is kind of cloudy usually but there are moments like actually right now where it's very much sunny and bright but still cool so i'm from southern california where it's always warm and sunny where it's always above 70 usually 80s but here at berkeley it's usually not above 70 and usually in the 60s so that's definitely a thing to know the cost so this is a public school but i know that it is still very much expensive even though tuition is increasing despite enrollment also increasing besides tuition the housing cost here is just insane in the bay area like right now i'm living in a campus apartment in a double in a two bedroom one bathroom apartment and it's like about 
a little over 1500 per month for a double in a double one bathroom apartment i mean it does include like gas water utilities and all that and it's very much a great location because it's like a few like one or two blocks away from campus but regardless i know that the apartments here and just like the rent here is just insane especially compared to like maybe LA or just maybe other areas or other schools and with that hefty price tag does not even mean quality like you're gonna pay an expensive amount for a mediocre to old apartment and that's just what is going to happen because the bougie luxury apartments are going to be like over 2000 if you can afford that good for you mm -hmm. other than that the regular apartments are going to be like what at least 1500 for a single or maybe like 700 800 dollars for like a double so rent is very expensive here and the food is so expensive here like since when was it normal for a burger to be a standard price of above ten dollars like i just that blows my mind and like drinks on average the standard here is about like at least six dollars six to seven dollars on average so i just think that's crazy at how expensive just even food here is and the food here isn't even that like superior isn't that well known either you're paying a lot for not necessarily something that's very known or you know that's gonna be good and there's also not that much grocery stores either so there's like one Trader Joe's kind of far away and that's it like no groceries so I bet a lot of students either have to eat like dining halls or like have to eat out so they're gonna spend a lot of money on food that's not necessarily good i mean it depends on you and your taste but you're just gonna spend a lot of money on food is the point so i mean i do know decisions come out like during end of march so i hope this video kind of gives you like an idea of berkeley and maybe help you with your decision i shouldn't influence your decision because at the end of the day it's up to you and what's best for you but yeah, I just wanted to kind of give my story and experiences and opinions on Berkeley.